Finally, I had a peaceful day because I'm attacking AI. Attacking AI is chill, man. I've cleared this bunker. There's only one more unit in it, which is cool because it's level five. So I can already move ahead, I guess. I'm gonna send in also my artillery. I'm gonna put them on offensive fire settings. Let's go. And then I'm gonna be able to use the level five bunker against Erturum. That's pretty cool because while he's gonna counterattack me like all AI do, I'm gonna be able to shelter my myself in the level 5 bunker this time or level 4 we're gonna see how much the hit points my attack deals there's only eight units here normally only one infantry here one infantry here i'm going to cut through this line over here my 15 cavalry and i'm gonna be able to havoc behind the lines of caucasus that should be fun oh he's taking a battering seven artillery move man move damn and there's only eight units here yeah level three bunker okay and of course it's the time to move in as the artillery is out of the bunker. Van only has four provinces left. Halep swings have been cut short. He's lost a lot of provinces. Double steel, double wood. I want double steel, double wood, man. It looks that also Central Al Rashid has quit. He hasn't moved his units all day. And Kuban was banned. He used more than a thousand gold during this match. So long, sucker. So I was put on peace. So that's one worry less. Kukaz is still playing, however. Shout out to him. He doesn't give up. I like that. I respect that. He split off five units from the bunker. He's gonna counter me over here. That's too bad. I wanted to occupy this level five bunker, but he has seen me. 38 units left. I can see them now because the bunker is only at level two. As soon as the bunker is taken out, damage will start to sip in. 28 damage is being dealt per hour. I mean, 28, that's nothing, man. He still has 595 HP left. So once the bunker is gone, that's still 20 hours or more of bombarding to do he should fall back to his uh, level 5 bunker to buy time because here he's gonna start to take more damage but yeah he does what he wants I guess on top of it if he retreats I risk getting hit by the AI on this side we've got Egypt who is now attacking also central Al Rashid in the back he's got a lot of cavalry man if you look at that dear god over here has a big army 25 cavalry he's assembling another army over here six cavalry so far he has a lot of cavalry couple of stormtroopers not that many basically has armored cars cavalry couple stormtroopers and a first panzer brigade i don't even know if he has artillery i don't think so oh he has two two artillery over here they're quite useful to uh, attack ai uh, there's a third artillery over here for the rest against players artillery are just too slow man i have a lot of food so I have, as as I've said before, I'm gonna go for uh, large cavalry armies, but I'm gonna they're gonna need some muscle, so I think I'm gonna stack them with heavy tanks. That should work. Now, maybe light tanks. The light tanks are faster. There's wood over here. Steel, steel, double coal. Ah, and a second wood. And steel, and wood, and double wood. If I'm able to go over there. Double steel, double oil, double wood. Oh, man. I want those. I want those. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what Desert Fox told me. Some of their allies are are putting their units into the sea they're giving up they want to protect their stats jesus christ nw being one of them that's not cool man Ooh, kieran bay it's a large nice tech man Oof. 23 stormtroopers oh that's not all oh freaking hell man how many units are those oh boy 20 armored cars 36 cavalry and 23 stormtroopers that's impressive my god at least my guys from my alliance they are not giving up ottawa has a couple of stormtroopers i hope ottawa will not put his units in the sea it doesn't look like it perfect in north america that's gonna be a big big fight minnesota come on man jesus later that night my breakthrough couldn't have worked better look at that i arrive at a 45 Five minutes here he needs 50 here 57 i'm gonna waltz him man i want to take out all units i don't care bam bam and then continue my way to syphilis also over here he is retreating i need another 33 minutes took the bunker put my units in there in one hour 12 i'm gonna open a fire there and those units are going to attack me it's like a dream man so easy once i took this bunker and i'm gonna be able to take out these units and these units 
it and it should have only level one bunker so that would be taken out but doesn't matter as i've taken wood over here and i've taken wood over here i've got four thousand of my iron ore on the max and i see I have now a thousand five hundred that means i can build industry uh, i've got level three industry over here that is in construction over here level three here i have nothing construction so i could do that level two is building here level one is building here so either i take a gas level three i don't really need gas man i need food to make more cavalry this one needs 150 i'm gonna split them up in different directions once i've uh, arrived in this province that's gonna be better man got 15 cavalry eric is also taken advantage of the opening here he can take an empty level 4 bunker this bunker is the level 3 i hope that as soon as he also notices the attack of eric that he will bring uh, back the units over here so that also Askika over here and then aquila over here can get into the game as well <laughs> what is that shagai has shared the maps with north kashmir so it seems and that's a big baggage train that is going north he's gonna attack astra from the looks of it i see units moving to the border yeah, it's only one one oh man shaga has a crazy economy he made a rail network even for single provinces damn he did it for all his wood and steel man and almost all connected oh he can move fast nine railways and they're interconnected with the railways over here damn also here that's crazy man Ooh, i have little to no economy man and they increase the production with 33 percent oh so they do it for uh, single resource provinces as well i'm surprised because it's pretty expensive to build the next morning my nightly escapade went well because capital has fallen for some reason he ended up in war with uh, erzurum that's pretty cool good for me let's force march this one let's capture the province let's go there's a lot of lag come on jump take it thank you double wood that's cool man bam let's take out his double steel next really enough there were no buildings over here here nice level 3 industry let's wreck that afterwards this game is slow man it takes me three hours to get here and it's friendly territory this should only be one infantry but i might actually lose my level 3 bunker that's not a good idea to attack man scheisse i'm gonna go back also attacking the ai goes wonderfully each time i attack they leave the bunker so easy and they send reinforcements not that it's going to help because i'm gonna arrive first or maybe not i hope i'm gonna arrive first and it's only 24 minutes i need one hour to bridge this gap okay let's pull back with the artillery my allies still haven't broken through but wh what he left the bunker oh he left the bunker to be able to attack that artillery oh that ain't good man he has seven artillery and my allies have five eight artillery in total versus seven he has a lot of hp though he's getting desperate man i understand he's up against uh, four versus one as his allies have uh, stopped playing oh, i need to disembark a long time and for some reason i ended up at war again with kuban i have no idea what happened there's no trace in the newspaper man about kuban and if i click enemies oh west caucasus is stopping he said after midnight oh here west caucasus erzurum he attacked erzurum one minute after he stopped playing i guess uh, he wants to leave as less intact for us as possible the Rusut caraman has already three panzers 42 speed 30 damage and attack oh man if you compare that to cavalry 43 speed 15 attack oh, they're good man they're very expensive so i hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications i want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel